Hello YouTube and welcome to your third Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial. In this tutorial we will be covering the if statement. So let's go ahead, go to File, New Project, select Windows Forms Application and we'll name it If Statement. And go ahead and click OK. Now let's resize the form a little bit. Now come over to the toolbox and add a text box and a button. And go ahead for the name of text box one, we'll type in your name. And then for the name for button one is check name. So then we'll just go ahead and set the text on it to if just because okay so go ahead and double click your button and it'll open up the method for button click and let's go ahead and start writing our code so first we're going to declare a variable dim text name as string and we'll set it equal to um, your name dot text now we need to um, start our if statement. So go ahead and type if uh, text name is equal to Sam, then do this code. So if text name is equal to Sam, then message box dot show. hello Sam and then we'll just set the title to if okay now we're gonna add something to handle the event if it is not equal to Sam so to do that you just type else so under else we'll do message box dot show who are you and then go ahead and set the title to if again now let's go ahead and run the program and then you can see when I type in Sam it says hello Sam but if I type in Robert it says who are you now you'll notice that if I type in Sam in all lowercase letters it'll say who are you that's because Visual Basic is case sensitive and I'll teach you how to get around that in a second after I explain the code. So now let's go back to the code and I'll explain what, what we just did. So we declared a variable and called it text name. And we set that text name to a string. And then the value of text name is equal to the text that the user types into this text box. You've seen that in our previous tutorial. Now we start the if statement by just typing if text name equals Sam then do something so if this is if text name is equal to Sam then we're going to show a message box that says hello Sam but if it says anything else but Sam which is what the else is for then it'll show a message box that says who are you and then it'll just go ahead and end the if now I'll show you how to do the if um, with using where you can type any letters um, uppercase or lowercase for Sam and it'll still um, recognize it as Sam so go ahead and erase that and we'll type string dot compare two parentheses and we'll do text name Okay, sorry about that. I took a little break there. You probably didn't even notice because this is a video. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the tu tutorial for now. Okay, so we started if string.compare text name. We're going to type comma Sam in all caps true and then equals zero. 
Okay, so basically what this does is if string, if the string, and we're going to compare the variable text name to the string SAM in all caps, which means that it can be all lowercase, all capital, or any any other like capital S, little a, capital M, or anything like that, and then true equals zero. So in coding uh, in Visual Basic .NET, if something is true, then it returns the value of zero. If it's not true, it returns the value of anything else. So if text name is equal to Sam, then that's true and it'll be equal to zero. Then message box dot so hello Sam set it to if. So now if we run the program, you see right here I can type in that and it'll say hello Sam. And if I type in anything else like that, it'll say who are you? So that's the basics of if statements. I'll go further into them in uh, later tutorials. So go ahead and practice that, get used to that, and um, once you once you know how to do this, move on to the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.